Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the CUDGS Star Clash. It's StarCraft 2 time, part two. I'm here, Emperor Zerg, and with me is uh, the victor of the last best of five uh, games we just saw. It's uh, Lasse Deranging... I forgot what your surname is. Schmidt, right? Schmieding. Schmieding. How are you feeling after your win? Oh, I'm feeling fine. That was good fun. Man. Yeah, it's quite nice. It's good fun to win, huh? Yeah. So, now we're moving on to slightly lower leagues. The bronze and platinum players coming out to play. And uh, we're up with Poracle, who you just saw casting alongside myself. He's going to be uh, going head to head in the PVZ best of one. And the game is actually up and running. So we're going to head over to that very shortly. I just want to first plug our sponsors for the event. They're uh, right up here. Uh, there's Coast, Varsity, and Vaults. Uh, three places you should definitely check out because they're supporting esports. And that's pretty cool, right? Yeah. So we're going to head uh, over. Damn it. Uh, into the game. Here we are, we're in the lobby. And we're gonna start it up. Okay. Go. So, uh, this map is gonna be King Sejong Station. Uh, we didn't actually see that from the uh, best of five. It was in the map pool. Um, but, yeah, this is the map. Let's see, let's see what happens. Guys, crowd, are you ready for the, the game? Sounds like they are. Sounds like they're pretty pumped. I think you did well as a warm-up act there, uh, Deranging. And uh, yeah, but so you don't get confused. Yes, Deranging is in the game and commentating, but his APM isn't that high that he can play and cast. In fact, Poracle is using Deranging's account. Uh, he wishes he was in uh, Grandmaster, or sorry, Master. Uh, actually, <laughs> we don't know what he is in. I think, I think he's cold. Anyway, here we go. The game is up, and let's introduce our players. First of all, in the south, uh, right hand corner, <laughs> if I can say that, it's our Zerg player, Chaos. No applause for Zerg, let's see <laughs> if we can get it for the Protoss player. Who, who do we have here, Lasse? Uh, in, the top, in the top corner we have Oracle playing as the or uh, blue Protoss. Excellent. Um, at the top of King's Tejong Station. So, the crowd is going wild. The crowd is, is crazy, I've never <laughs> seen them this pumped. Yeah. Uh, but uh, let, let's see what's going to happen. There's no cheese yet. Oh, we do have a bit of smack talk. <laughs> Please let me win so it looks like beat Lassa. Um, yeah, I'm sure we can do that. This is quite an early scout from Poracle. Uh, the pylon scout. Yeah, the pylon scout. It's not too bad. I, mean, no. I guess he doesn't want to get 6 balls. Yeah, yeah that's what I was happening in say. this case. It's a 10 pool for Chaos. Oh, indeed. It's a pool uh, first. It's not, it's not too bad. It's, it's still pretty economical as, a, as an opening because if you, if you make a couple of zergings, you can contain the Protoss sort of in their base and make them panic a bit while you just drone off behind it. So it's actually it's not too much of a bad decision. It's actually it pretty standard at some point. Okay, well let's see what this probe can see. Bam, he sees the pool quite early. Uh, queued up all the way around the base. Uh, he's, let's see his response to this pool. Will he stick around long enough uh, if he queues and waypoints his way around to see the zerglings come out, that's really going to be the telltale well, sign, would you say? Mm, well, he's seen the early pool, and if he if he knows if he knows that well, a pool that early is pretty much it's going to be making his zerglings because otherwise okay. it's just a waste for chaos. Well, like, even even if he sees that the probe is scouted, him, there's no point not to make the zerglings because otherwise he'll have just lost something. And even though the zerglings, he knows the yeah. zerglings are coming, it's the chaos, the probe will have to respond to it a bit. So it should stay like. Chaos, all right for chaos. Okay, well we did have six lings in production. Here they are. They're running across across the map. Uh, even some drones. I think they might be on a miss rally, but I. <laughs> I was going to say. Yeah, they're on a miss rally. Oh well, that, uh, that's cool. I hope he notices. That's cool. Yeah, he's down to only what nine harvesters now. Yeah. But Poracle really needs to sort out his defense. Is he going to wall this off? Uh, he's not actually making any gateway units, but he did see the pool, right? He did. So. This is going to be a bit concerning. Is the Mothership Core going to come out? Uh, no. no. There's no Mothership Core in the way. He doesn't have uh, quite the resources. Let's see his response to these six Zerglings. Oh, they actually pause. <laughs> this is precious, precious time for Poracle. In the meantime, we have the Hatchery getting thrown down. And uh, here come the Zerglings taking out that pylon. And the Pro Pool. It's the Pro Pool. Can, I would like to see the Mothership Core if we can. That would be good. But let's see how many. Uh, Ooh, how the pro, but the That's okay. Zerglings. Remember, if the Zerglings fight this head-on, they will actually take a lot of damage. And oh, oh splitting the probes is not the best idea. Yeah. A Stalker's on its way out. Let's see if Poracle can get the surround on these Zerglings. 
He's pushing him away for now, but there's a lot of very red probes. Uh, Chaos is not mattering correctly behind the scenes. Well, if he's making all Zerdians, he should be just making Jones at this point. Oh, oh, the pylon the goes down, but we do see the Mothership Core, but it's a supply box. This is a nightmare for our Protoss player. However, he is still well up in, uh, in probes. Uh, so actually, it's not the end of the world here. And he's pushed away the Zerglings for now. How would you say? Oh, 40 Zerglings, though. Yeah, I think Korok is um, in a bit of trouble. He, he really needs to get... Because his, his economy is not running properly because all the drones, uh, the probes have to be used to stop these opening. Yeah, and, and he to, he's got supply lock problems. Well, he's cleared them up now. Yeah, but I would say he's doing a very nice job pushing uh, the zone players, uh, keeping these links alive rather than suiciding them in. He still has five, which is a lot of damage, and could actually take out this stalker. Oh, Will Power oh, do oh, some oh, nice oh, micro? Oh, the mothership oh, core is finally out. Let's get him involved. Oh. oh Come on, Horacle, you need this, you need this, the stalker goes down. And we see, look at these links streaming across the map. They've lost a lot of the head points already. Yeah, however, he is still up, 16 to 12, but these Zerglings, while well, they're taking some Mothership Core Fire, there goes one down. If he pulls his probes, if he does well, and brings in the Mothership Core, you know, the Zerglings are coming in in waves. He could actually take this and not be too bad. What do you but think? Now quite a lot of waves, it's a lot. enough to kill the probes. I feel he kind of needs to, yeah, he needs to move around, micro, and let the Mothership Core do a little bit of damage. the problem with the Mothership Core? Should that go to the pretty soon if he yeah, if we should try and pick up some more probes as well. He will eventually clear this up. If we look in production tab, there's nothing from the Zerg player. There's no more Zerglings screaming across the map. It's just the Overlord. So this game is now stabilizing. However, yeah, Zerg, there's not the most probes. Yeah, Zerg has realized that this is going to work. Because he's now coming up drones behind it. He's up to 25 in a second. Yeah, look at this. Six. <laughs> 14 probes got picked off. He, Poracle did well hanging in there. Uh, he now gives the uh, TT phase. But, you know, if he can Kona boost out some probes, he's, he's not out of this completely. He slightly is. But, you know, Chaos is not the macro demon that Lasse is. And uh, if anything, playing on Lass's account, I think that will give uh, Poracle a bit of a boost. A, a bit of a morale boost. It will inspire him needs. to build those probes, build those pylons. And, you know, every, every extra pair of lings that uh, Chaos sends in maybe throws away accidentally. That's, that's going to be a pickup, right? That, that, yeah, but I think um, Poracle really needs to make something happen now. He, it puts it all on him if Chaos escapes to throw away. Um, if right. Chaos just sits back, sits back and sort of plays a standard game, he knows he's going to be alright, so he doesn't have to take any risks, he doesn't That's have right. to play amazingly greedy or amazingly aggressive. If he just plays a sort of standard game, no, no, nothing flashy, nothing fancy, yeah. he should be and in a good place. I, I think he's doing that, he's just slowing down his third base, he's got spotters in perfect locations at the second and third, checking that Poracle doesn't have his expansion up yet. Poracle's really trapped in his base, but let's be honest, there is no reason for him to move out. If you're only on 14, you're not even a peak efficiency yet, so getting your next base up isn't desperately important. But it does mean that the Zerg is completely unpressured, he's able to do whatever he likes, and I think he likes the double Evo Bay. Yeah, he, he's, he knows he's got the targeting that further base, he knows there's nothing coming, he knows he's going to have a bit of time, so he's investing in making himself stronger for later game, or mid game, in this case, which will probably come down to. The only problem is, Horrible seems to be more, a little bit like a headless chicken, he hasn't really committed to anything yet. He needs a, yeah. what he really needs, what you really need in this situation is a plan that you can follow up. Yeah, right, um, a good build order that he's been yeah. practicing, something like that. Uh, he's gone up to two, two gateways. And his, uh, his, his warp gate is done, but there's no follow-up. Now we're seeing a uh, third gateway. Are we going to see a fourth, fifth, sixth? Let's see. I, I think a fourth, yeah. Because Chaos is maybe taking it. He's making some zergens now, but yeah. what he could get into is like, oh, I'm so far ahead, I can just keep making zergens. 
and then a big attack should just wipe him out, which I think Farouk was hoping for. Yeah, I, I kind of feel this Zerg player, he's, he knows he's ahead, but he's kind of going for a bit of everything. Maybe he's overextending a bit too much. He's getting to the lair, he's getting the double Evo chambers and the third base at the same time. He's not actually using the double Evo chambers. No. How is he going to use the lair? He doesn't have a Roach Warren, he can't get Roach Speed or, or even, you know, 2-2, two, two, because if you don't even have 1-1. One, one. I feel he's not, he's not completely putting his build order to the best use, would you agree? Yeah, he's, he's definitely got... There, there are things which could be improved upon, but I think the lair isn't... Even yeah, if he's not going to use it, it's a good thing to have. He could make overseers, because one thing he doesn't know... Like, there could be Dark Tempers or something coming, so it's always... A, exactly. Um, that, it just gives them that little bit of security, and you, need, you always need the lair. And he could afford it, he does have Ooh. a lot of money. Cheeky drone. He's, Going for a fourth base. Going for the fourth base. See, I feel like he's going for a lot of things. He is. He's made his tech decision. He's going for roaches, and he's going for a uh, ranged attack. So we could see some Hydra Roach play, maybe some Vipers as well, but Poracle's not actually going for any t Colossus or, or, or Blink play or anything. He's going for a big gateway push. But I think that's going to play very well into our Protoss player's hand. 12 Roaches against just, you know, a Zealot yeah. Sentry Force. Poracle's walking into a bit of a, a nightmare, but we do see a Twilight. Yeah. We do see that. If you can get Blink or Charge or, or you know, even the DTs, as you said, that would be quite good. Let's see. There's a lot of Zerglings, but I think they're Slowlings. We still have... Uh, oh, we can't see here. No, we, can't see. we don't have Metabolic Boost activated. And uh, here's going to be our engagement. That's just a lot of Zerg, though. We look in the army yeah, supply, 28 to 53. <laughs> that might be quite a one-sided fight, but... Everyone knows everyone's favorite saying when behind Dark Shrine. That's right. Um, which is one thing Poracle could do to come oh, back. He could take that. He's not taking the Overlord out. But what we see here is uh, very much one base play from uh, Poracle. He's not going down for a second or third base. He's rebuilt his probes up to a nice number for one base. And he's cool with that. He's just going to make a, a one base push. Unfortunately, 1-1 one, one is now going to be finishing up for Zerg. Unfortunately, the Pylon hasn't been scouted. Uh, actually, no, it hasn't. And uh, the Mothership Corps kind of wasted a bit of a time warp there, and Poracle's heading home. There is... the, the Zerg seems to have forgotten about speed up for the Zerg units, so he's, he's neither yeah. researching or got Roach speed or Zergling speed, which oh. is sort of key to this the Roach, <laughs> Zerg, um, Roach Zergling kind of play. Like yeah. You have lots of cheap and, and quick units. So, so I so feel... He's just got lots of cheap units. Yeah, and here comes the engagement from the Zerg. There's Force field's going down, okay, pushing those roaches back, that's very nice. He's taking up the Zerglings at the front first. We're treating up the ramp now. Is he consigning himself? Does. What is he going for? He's going for some stalkers. These sentries are very vulnerable. They're taking a lot of damage. I'm quite scared for Poracle. Those force fields are very good. Trapping a small number of roaches and forcing the others away. But look at this, 38 supply to 125. One base to four. I mean, well, this isn't really being used, but there's still four bases. And look at the production tab. I feel the Zerg wants to end this now. Yeah, he's, he's smelt blood. He's, he, he knows I just reset the sentry count quite a lot. I know he's on two bases. He's yeah. not gonna have a lot of gas. I can just sort of push through. But he's also, he's also seeing, oh, I'll make some drones because I can. Oh, Poracle coming down the ramp is quite vulnerable. He needs to get up to a defensible location, but really, <laughs> last Warfield goes down, and even if he holds, it's one base against three, soon to be four. I don't feel this is like the best situation. Now, uh, yeah, let's be yeah. honest, Zealot Charge is coming down, but when you have uh, no Zealot, <laughs> it's not that useful. <laughs> All of uh, the Protoss army is getting shut down. I feel this Zerg uh, can kind of just A move in. That's what he's doing. There's so many Zerg that are just going a conga line through the choke point. They're doing a lot of damage here, these stalkers, but yeah, there's just too much Zerg. And GG is called Chaos Will Be Victorious. That's a great play from our Zerg buddy. So uh, that was a best of one. In fact, uh, that was uh, the winning deciding move right there. And uh, if I tab out, you can see our handsome faces again. Here we go. Uh, yeah, well, that's one of three. We have uh, two more show matches. Em uh, sorry, Poracle, he's uh, now done for the time being. He's going to come back to the casting desk and uh, cast the next game, which I'm proud to announce will be myself. 
Don't, don't all shout at once. Uh, against uh, Chaos, who we just saw as Zerg. So it's going to be a TVZ again. And uh, yeah, please stay tuned. Any uh, final words before we hit the break? I think you do. We should shout out our sponsors. Uh, <laughs> we love them. They're up here. You love them too. Thanks very much. Uh, we'll be back very shortly, and I will be switched out for Poracle. So please show him some love and tune in.